Тинг. Лайк Тесла. Think like Tesla, Micah here. Got some gadgets to look at. This one came out about the time of the previous Star Wars movie and uh, sat, on, sat on a shelf for a while. There should be some swelling John Williams music here. Move holograms with your mind, Star Wars. It's got a Bluetooth headset. I'm gonna see if this is an actual EEG device or if they're just faking it. Here's the back. Can this be real? Yes, the Force Runner headset uses advanced dry neural sensor technology to read and interpret your brain waves. As you concentrate, you generate beta brain waves. The headset detects these waves and translates a digital signal via Bluetooth to your tablet, causing the hologram to move based on your level of concentration. Okay, requires one AAA battery. And it's got holograms. Looks like the uh, that four-way prism hologram effect. So let's see what we got here. Here is the headset itself. Oh yes. Oh yes. From Star Wars Science comes. Force Trainer 2 Hologram Experience. Now you can move holograms with the power of your mind. Blows from the Force, but before strength, control you must learn. Observing your progress throughout your training, I will be. Demonstrate control and self-discipline, you must. So as a game, kind of sucks. Uh, among other things, the headset is definitely not designed for someone with a noggin the shape and size of mine. I did let my Padawan try it, and she had a better fit. She didn't get those disconnects, but the game didn't work very well for her either. So one question this raises is, is this thing really an EEG at all? Is it really looking at brainwaves, or is it doing something simpler like, I don't know, galvanic skin resistance or something? Well, let's take a look at the circuit here. Get this guy in the frame. Now what you can see right off the bat here is on the right hand side there's a voltage regulator. This thing is powered off, off of a single cell, 1.5 volts, so it has to step it up. And this main board in the middle with all the wires coming off of it is actually a NeuroSky board. It is an actual EEG board. I think I've found some of these on AliExpress. And then the next module over is Bluetooth. And then there's just some glue electronics, a switch, some LEDs, a few drivers, things like that. So it appears that this is an actual EEG system, and it might be worth some further experimentation to uh, hook it up and to see what we can do with it. But man, we need to find a better way to connect these electrodes.